I was thinking about my own life when I stood at a crossroad, at a transition, at a, at a time in my life where I was unsure and it was uncertain, it was exciting, and it was uncertain. And I felt anxiety and I felt also like it was an important time in my life. And I remember I was in school and college and I was really seeking God the, the summer that I came home from school. I was seeking God and the school was off. And I, 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 I was saying, Lord, what's the big picture for, for my life? I was trying to figure out, you know, am I, am I going to be a teacher? I don't want to teach music. Am I going to be a performer? And I decided I was going to try to be a performer and was practicing and all of that on the horn five, six hours a day. Somewhere during that summer, I just felt so desperate that something said to me, just fast for three days and put it on the altar. And I, I, if I were to be honest, I had a little nudging, like I, I knew I was supposed to preach, but I wouldn't even go there. And I went those three days, and it was around midnight, and I went to the tabernacle down the road that my dad, who was like a bishop or whatever you would call it over a bunch of churches, and that they would gather once a year. And it was a room that held about 1,600 people, and it was dark. It, no lights were on. I had a key. I went in, and I just prayed. It was almost midnight. I was so looking forward to midnight because I was going to be eating at 1201. And I had poured my heart out to God in those three days. And I said, well, I don't know what you want me to do, but you're going to have to tell me clearly. I'm willing. I am willing to do whatever you want me to do, but you're going to have to tell me. And I'm telling you around midnight, I heard the whisper of God deep in my spirit. And he said, I have called you to preach. Go preach and do what I've called you to do. And it was one of those moments, it was just a whisper. I didn't see it written in technicolor. I didn't see graffiti on the side of the tabernacle. I didn't have an angel tap me. I didn't see the room light up with a glow. All I had was I was in his presence. I knew I was in his presence. And I had this gentle whisper that said, you're called. I chose you. You didn't choose me. Go. I began to preach and God began to help us as we, me and my brother traveled all over the nation. And then on another occasion, a few years later, talking about the whispers of God, he never yelled at me, just whispers. And I was in a situation where I was a single now by myself. And uh, I was living in Tennessee and I preached, and I met a girl named Sharice Swilly. And we began to date, and God didn't have to yell on that one because I was able to hear the whisper, but I used my eyes too, and I liked what I saw. And I fell in love with her, and at some point, at some point, I knew and I heard the whisper, marry her. She's the one. She's the one. And I don't know what I would have done without Sharice. It's a little funny with her sitting down here on the front, but it's just the truth. I don't know what I would have done without that whisper. And we've been through a lot, but we go through it together. And it's a powerful, powerful thing when God whispers, that's the one. And the Lord told me to tell every single person under the sound of my voice, wherever you're listening to this, for every single person who desires it, there is a whisper coming in your future. That is the one. Because he has a plan for your life. God has a whisper for you. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.